But as far as performing the move on for television, you know, up until recently, we still had an audience for it and the audience laughing and, and having a good time and, 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 and enjoying it, I think probably helps the, the people watching at home, um, you know, uh, see the entertainment side of it, um, which is, might, might be a, a blessing, um, considering that with the change of character for me, considering that we're not wrestling currently in front of an audience yeah. and we're not getting that genuine reaction from an audience, um, that might come off a little bit more awkward on TV. Uh, so maybe, um, the timing of the character change is a bit of a blessing considering, you know, the, the state of professional wrestling and the world right now. Yeah. Yeah. No kidding. Well, th- talk to me. So Joseph P. Ryan, why did you like you made your money, your bread and butter, Joey Ryan built an audience. You know your fan base. You've talked about it a lot. Why the decision to to put on a new coat of paint? Why are you reinventing yourself as Joseph P. Ryan? Uh, well, uh, it could be uh, a few a, f- a few reasons. Um, one, you know, like it's 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 about time. I mean, I know I haven't been in Impact Wrestling that long, but the character's been you know I've been doing it for five years now, um, yeah. which is a lot of people don't realize a lot of people don't realize that the first uh, dick flip was uh, sorry penis flip I don't know if I could say I said penis the flex. first penis flip was five years ago <laughs> a, lot, a lot of people don't realize that and it has been a long time and you know it's it's time it, you can't you have to keep growing and you have to keep moving forward and you have to keep trying new things or else things are going to get stale things are going to start not not that not that the uh, the character of Joy Ryan was um, losing its audience in fact I think it was growing still but I think. Yeah. Uh, be, you want you want to kind of you want to you want to catch that before it happens. You don't want to try to change on while you're on the decline because um, I think it comes off as a little bit more desperate. I think if huh. you you know it's like the old Seinfeld thing. You walk out when you're on top. Uh, you know, try try do things, change it up, give the audience something different to look at while you're still hot um, and they're still paying attention to you, and that has a better chance of catching on. Your new your new ideas and your new act has a better ca- chance of catching on when you already have that audience still there and they haven't faded. Um, and you know, Impact was looking for, um, you know, possibly new heels to uh, to to go in the company, and you know, so I, I came up with this, the you know, obviously to take on right to censor, you know, and I said, you know, I, I, I originally my initial pitch was right to cancel because of it's more contemporary with Twitter and social media, yeah, um, and then they twer- they they tweaked it to cancel culture and presented the idea because I know Katie Forbes was dealing a lot with a lot of uh, internet backlashes, same as me. And that was kind of the uh, the initial pitch um, for the turn. And now, you know, beginning a stable and start, you're bringing new names on and, and creating a, a new a new thing has been co- cool and different for me. 